I'm Greg Carbon. I'm the uh, Forecast Operations Branch Chief at the Weather Prediction Center, uh, one of the national centers uh, for environmental prediction with the National Weather Service in Washington. I spent a tremendous amount of time in Norman, Oklahoma at the Storm Prediction Center uh, learning about severe storm forecasting and attempting to provide information and messaging ahead of some of the most deadly weather tornadoes and, and severe thunderstorms. That will continue to be a focus of the U.S. government, primarily because there really needs to be a voice of authority when it comes to the deadliest weather uh, that we have. The analytical abilities required of meteorologists today are uh, really requiring a, a higher level degree. And so the, the National Weather Service now is, you know, the base level entry would be a master's degree. There are many PhD uh, students that are coming out and, and being hired and are competitive. Uh, I've even had to tell some of my own staff who are looking to advance their careers within the government that their competition is pretty fierce even from the outside you have people looking at careers in the in the government with advanced degrees where in the past that wasn't quite as much of the case really the more you can uh, set yourself apart with respect to a wide range of skills from GIS to Python programming to unique uh, capabilities to apply that programming and in, in information analysis. The more you can push your boundaries personally and set yourself apart, the more likely you are to stand out. And I suppose you could still do that with a bachelor's degree, but it's probably going to take a master's uh, to, to really uh, get that experience uh, to be considered for, a, for an opening. Don't put your sights in any one location. Be open to adventure and, uh, and try to go where the, you know, where the opening presents itself. Uh, it may only have to be there a year or two and then you'll have an opportunity elsewhere. But the key is to get, get your foot in the door and get into the system. And again, show passion for what you're doing as a public servant and hopefully the opportunities will present themselves.